Hey, Swagnet. My name is Swagnet. I am a dealer. But that was 20 years ago when I had sex with a hoe at the brothel. Yes, at the brothel with the man them. Oi! Swagnet! What, mate? You got a problem? Do you know who you're playing this week? Of course I know who I'm playing this week! I'm Wansy Swagnet! Have you done any kind of prep for it? Are you even ready for this match? Of course I'm ready! I'm Swagnet! Who do you think I am, you little smackhead? Slyro's not a bad player, you know. If you don't do some more prep, you're gonna be in some real trouble. Are you saying you think I'm gonna lose? Cause I will come over there and I will rip your tongue out and I will make you lick your own arse. Don't think I won't. I did worse than that to the meth dealer who tried to sell me a donkey. Okay, okay, okay. I've said all I can. But I swear to God, if you lose, then there will be a punishment for you. Punishment? Are you being serious, dickhead? Who do you think you are? Who do you think I am? I swear to God, I will smack you. Whatever. Yo, what is going on, my dickheads? My name is Wanzy Swagnet, and today I'm bringing you week six for the Battle Union. And this week is going to be AS Monferno versus the Pittsburgh Pyros and that little dickhead Slyro that Alex can't seem to beat for some reason. So, basically, I'm here trying to take revenge on Wanzy Burnett getting smacked up by this motherfucker several times in the past. And quite frankly, I don't like playing for someone else. I don't give a shit what happened between between Wanzy Barnett and Slyro in the past. I'm here to try and beat a guy that I don't really give a shit about. So yeah, basically, as you can see on screen at the moment, his team that he has brought today is going to be Arcanine, Slurpuff, Porygon 2, Metagross, Manaphy, and Mega Venusaur. And basically, the problem with this is that he's obviously got that fucking Mega Metagross. Slurpuff means I can't Dragon Spam, but then again, why would I want to Dragon Spam when there's a Metagross there anyway? But, yeah, if you want to know what my team is, go and check out the Team Builder, which I will make sure that Wanzy Banner puts a link down in the description. So if you want to know what I'm bringing, then go and watch that. But yeah, basically, Let's get into this and see what happens when I try to take revenge on Slyro for being a dick. Yeah. Slyro is just doing a challenge because he's a dickhead. And I lead out with my Meloetta. And I think that he leads out with his Mega Venusaur. Which means that I'm obviously going to be threatening him out here. So, he's going to withdraw it and go straight into his bastard fucking Arcanine. But that's obviously showing me that he's scared of Meloetta. He doesn't want to be taking a psychic move. And Arcanine seems to be his kind of check to it. So, he goes into Arcanine and I go for my safeguard. Which means that I don't want to get burnt or toxic or whatever. And he pulls a, then a double switch out into the Manaphy. As I'm going to pull my own U-turn off here. To do a little bit of damage on the switch out. And reveal whether he's leftovers or not. So, I'm going back, and I'm going to switch myself right into my fucking Staraptor and threaten this thing out with a fucking Brave Bird, because I'm choice banned, and I'm going to do a hell of a lot of damage. But, obviously, there's no chance I'm actually going to go for a Brave Bird. I actually went into Staraptor there so I could U-turn and get myself back out into my fucking um, Meloetta, because I have Energy Ball to hit it. So, I go for the U-turn, and man, uh, net, 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 Metagross... Xenon X, the dickhead, decides to come in, so my U-turn does nothing. But the damage that that did do reveals to me that that is physically defensive or some kind of defensive variant of Metagross. So, defensive Metagross, leftovers Metagross, as I now see, with Stealth Rock. So, I'm going to go for Encore here and, and Encore this Metagross into fucking Stealth Rock. Now, 
I could have stayed in here because I didn't think this thing was going to try and bring Toxic. It needed too much coverage to try and bring it. But I didn't want to stay in and stall him out of 32 Stealth Rocks because that would have taken forever. So he goes for another Stealth Rock as I switch in my boy Michael Bolton because, you know, he's a fucking Metagross and all that shit. So he's going to get leftovers back. And now it's like I didn't even touch him with a U-turn. It's like I didn't even hit him. Which is a bit shit because he's now back at full. But I'm now back at full as well. But I don't have safeguard anymore. I needed to pay more attention to that fucking safeguard shit. Right, so. He switches out into... <coughs> wow. Into his Mega Venusaur. Which isn't Mega yet. But I switch out myself into Meloetta. <sighs> Obviously, this is not a good matchup for him. So... He's going to try and switch straight back out again and go into his fucking Hipster MT. And I'm just going to end up putting up another safeguard because I don't want no toxic stalling shit going on. So, obviously because I'm not going for a safeguard, I'm going for a Shadow Ball, expecting the Metagross to come in this time. Because he's went into Arcanine before and that kind of shows me it's possibly like a, a, a defensive variant with max HP because a Shadow Ball from this Meloetta does way more than that usually. I do get my, my safeguard up and he decides then to go for a Flare Blitz. <coughs> God damn it, I'm coughing. <coughs> but yeah, that doesn't do much, too much to me. And he reveals obviously his leftovers. And I'm left on about 82 health. I do outspeed it, which kind of shows he's not speed invested. He's speed invested. So I'm going to go for my U-turn. And I'm going to switch myself right back out. Because I do not have... Uh, he doesn't have any way of uh, burning me. Because I have safeguard off. And I'm going to go out into banter. Hopefully trying to take a bit of damage. But he's going to go for a morning sun. Which kind of, is, you know, it, it's it's obviously defensive Arcanine. And I assume at the moment, Flare Blitz, will o -Wisp, Crunch, Morning Sun. It's typical bog standard Slyro Arcanine. If there's one thing Slyro knows from what Alex has told me, it's that he likes to bring defensive Arcanine and he can run it well. He knows how to build a good Arcanine. So, I go for my Encore as he goes for a will o -Wisp onto my Safeguard. But I do still have another turn of Safeguard left. So now, I basically get a free switch into whatever the hell I want to do. So, free switches all over the place. And here is where I kind of think I probably should have bought Swords Dance Garchomp. Because he goes with a Will O Wisp. Obviously, it does nothing because I've got Safeguard up. And he's going to switch out here into the Mega Venusaur. And obviously, it's a Mega Venusaur. So, I can't really do too much damage to it. It's not Mega yet, but it's, it's a Venusaur. And it's going to take a hefty chunk. But it's still not a two hit KO. But if I had Swords Dance, I could have stayed in gone for a sword stance and then killed it or done a considerable amount of uh, damage to it. However, I'm going to switch out here and I'm going to go into Storaptor because Storaptor is a fucking monster and he's going to go for that obvious choice ban Brave Bug. But he's a Mega Venusaur and Slyro is going to be playing a very, very stally game here. So, what I'm going to do as he goes for that synthesis to get himself back up to full health, I'm going to assume he's not going to want to go into the Metagross again this time. I assume he's going to stay in thinking I'm going to go for a U-turn. That doesn't happen, and he switches in the Metagross. However, this does show me that I can tell what set he is. So I go for the Brave Bird, and it's going to do absolute pittance. That is nothing. It's a physically defensive fucking Metagross, which is going to take nothing and get leftovers back. So that's a bit shit. So, obviously, I don't really have anything that I want to do against this thing. So, I'm going to go into my Registeel, and I'm going to get my Stealth Rocks up. So, he's going to go for an Ice Punch here, showing me that he has Stealth Rock and Ice Punch, and he's physically defensive. He has literally brought this Metagross to counter Staraptor, and to deal with Mega Latias without Shadow Ball. Which is kind of shit, but, I do know... Uh, this thing is not going to be able to do too much damage to me with anything he wants to do. So he's going to go for Earthquake and he's going to kind of scout out what kind of set I am and he knows by that that I'm physically defensive. So I'm going to go for my Stealth Rock. I could have gone for Counter predicting that Earthquake but I'm stupid. So yeah. Well I'm not really stupid. I'm fucking Swagnet. So you know what? I don't really give a shit. We're both going to get leftovers back and this is going to be a diddly doozy. So 
He's going to withdraw this Metagross here, and he's going to switch right back out into the Manaphy. And me being a little dickhead, thinks he's going to try and solo my fucking Registeel with his Metagross, and I go for counter, meaning he got a free switch into Manaphy, who's now probably setting up a shitty sub. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. So, I'm going to get my leftovers back. That's a tasty deal. That's a very tasty deal. And I'm going to switch right back out into my Meloetta, who I think at this point can take a Scold. So I thought, you know what, I might as well risk it. I don't know if the Scold will kill me because I'm HP invested. And he goes for a Substitute. Which is a little bit shit. Because Manaphy behind the sub is always a problem. No matter who you're facing, it's always a problem. So... I'm going to go for the Energy Ball to break the soul, revealing that I do have Energy Ball and Shadow Ball. And I've kind of revealed my whole set at this point. And he knows that Mega Venusaur isn't going to be able... Well, I'm not going to be able to touch that Mega Venusaur. He goes for a Scold and I live and I don't get burned, which is fantastic. So, he's going to get leftovers back and he's looking pretty healthy. But he doesn't want to take an Energy Ball. So, he's going to switch out here and go out into Windows 10 to Porygon 2. So, that, that's... That's the thing. Porygon 2 is going to be a little bitch. And I'm going to go for my safeguard. And safeguard is pretty much just to stop me getting toxic stored with something. So I go for energy ball now. Hoping to get a spadef drop. And I get a crit instead. I'm like, I wanted the other hacks. Not that one, you dickhead. And he goes for an ice beam and kills me. And this game is stupid. Because I, if I'd have got the spadef drop there, that could have been very nice. But I didn't get it. So I'm going to go out into Wobbuffet. Because I got the safeguard up, and I can stall this thing out for a little bit, and I can kind of force it in. So it's going to go for a cover, showing that it does indeed outspeed me. I could have probably tried to speed creep this Porygon 2, which would have been very nice, but I couldn't because I'm silly. So, yeah, I'm going to get my leftovers back, and I'm pretty much just going to make sure that I just keep on getting myself free switches into things using Wobbuffet as a pivot. So I go out into Mega Latias, because I can sense that this is my time. I can set up on something, and I can stall him out. So he's going to switch out with uh, Porygon 2, and he's going to go out into Hipster Entei to Arcanine. And I'm thinking, he's obviously got Crunch. He's obviously got Crunch, otherwise an Arcanine wouldn't be staring me in the face. But he gets an Intimidate drop. And that Intimidate drop is actually very fucking important. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to Mega Evolve. And I'm going to go straight for the tastiest move in the entire game, Calm Mind. Which is a plus one, plus one with my Mega Latias now. And it's time to set up and wreck havoc. So, Rose here, sitting in front of the shitty fire dog, just casually thinking. Thinking about her life, thinking about her life choices. And that right there, safeguard, wore off. I missed that in the match because I was doing damage calcs. I completely forgot that I... That, that had run out. So, he goes for a crunch, which does, as you can see, kind of a lot, but not enough to really worry me. So, he's going to get leftovers back, and that's a bit of a bad situation for me. But, if I was clever here, I would have gone for a, a safeguard there, because instead, I'm stupid. So, he's going to go for a crunch here, and he's going to get damage off on me. And it's going to show that it's doing like 60 damage. It's not doing too much. But obviously I didn't see that Safeguard had worn off. I thought that I had one more turn of it. So I go for another Calm Mind thinking, okay, I'm at plus three. I can deal with this shit. I can deal lots of damage here. If I'd have got a Safeguard up, I think I'd probably win right there. Right then and there. But unfortunately the game is now going to be a bit prolonged because I'm burnt. So I'm going to get whittled down. Quite good from Slyro. I'll admit, the dickhead did something right. But all that's done right now is stalled out the inevitable. I can still set up on this Arcanine. I can still deal with it. So, I'm just going to sit here thinking about my life. And now that I'm at plus four, I'm thinking it's ready to go. So he's going to keep crunching at me. He's going to keep biting my dragon. And it's going to be doing a lot of damage, but not enough to really worry me. So, he's going to get leftovers back. Which is always kind of, you know, annoying. And I'm going to be left at 25 HP. And I go for one more recover. Just to judge how much the combination of Fleb, uh, of Crunch and Burn is doing to me. So he goes for another Crunch. And it's going to do, like, a lot of damage. It's going to leave me at 63 HP. And the Burn's going to take me down to 40. But at this point, I'm thinking, you know what? I can go for one more. But if he gets a crit or a Burn... 
I'm in pain town. I'm going to struggle. So he's going to keep going for them crunches. And I'm just going to, you know, if I, if he gets a defense drop, it's GG right there. For, like, for this matchup. It's GG right there because I can't deal with it. But I'm at 49 HP. And I decide to let rip. And that stored power just destroys that Arcanine in one shot. Goodbye. Get fucked. But now we come to the power town. Obviously, he still has Mega Metagross chilling in the back. A bullet punch doesn't kill me from here. So he's going to take stealth rock damage. And I'm worried. I've looked and plus four st a stored power does a lot of damage. But I'm not sure it can kill. So I go for it. It's plus four. It doesn't quite do it. One more caught mine. Would have done it. And that would have been able to kill the Metagross. And I think I could have won the game from there. Because he had nothing that outsped me. Nothing that could kill me. And I could have just ripped through one more of his team with Latias. But now I have to try and find another way to win. So Metagross is pretty much dead. It's at like no health. And I have one Pokemon that can effectively try and stall it out. I go into Staraptor. Probably, in my opinion, probably should have gone into Garchomp, looking back on it, but it's fine, because Staraptor takes that, that, that bullet punch like a pro and ends up killing the Metagross with a Brave Bird. And guess what, guys? The rest of the match is going to get very interesting. So, Staraptor's at a very, very low amount of health. It's pretty much dead. So, Porygon 2 comes in. And this means that I can't really touch the rest of his team. He's obviously... I can't switch out. Because if I switch out, I'm dead upon re-entry. Because of Stealth Rocks. And that does a lot of damage. That shows me that this is probably specially defensive invested. Specially invested. Specially defensive. Whatever you want to call it. But he goes for a U-turn as I kill myself to the Brave Bird. And unfortunately for me, I'm struggling to find a way to take out that Mega Venusaur now. So, the Garchomp comes in and decides to try and Earthquake this fucking Porygon thinking that it's going to try and take me down to lychee range on an earthquake so he's going to keep recovering me he's going to keep recovering me and i'm just going to switch out right then and there because i don't know whether or not an ice beam kills me i didn't calc it correctly and i decide to switch in to wobbuffet and unfortunately for me wobbuffet's a little bit of a dick a little bit of a dick and goes for an ice beam which does a surprisingly high amount considering it's non-stab and I'm a Wobbuffet with 297 HP. So he's going to go for a Toxic now. And basically this was only me trying to force it out. The only way I could force this thing out was by going for an Encore and sacrificing my Wobbuffet to a Toxic. Not forcing it out, but at least sacrificing Wobbuffet down uh, to a, a status so that I could force it to have to keep going for Toxics and get a free switch here into my Registeel. So I switch out. And I go into Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton comes in and he's just chilling with his arms flailing around. And he's taking a bit of stealth rock damage. But he's immune to all them toxics, which is tasty. So yeah, that's nice and banter. But yeah, obviously Leftovers comes in and he has to withdraw. Because I could be Home Claws or Curse or something silly. And he goes out into his Mega Venusaur. And this is when the fun part begins. Because, as you can see, I go for the Iron Head. And it does, like, nothing. Because that's a physically defensive Mega Venusaur. Even if it's not physically defensive, it does nothing. So I'm a Registeel. But yeah, he goes for Leech Seed now. And this is where the fun part begins. So basically... Basically... The rest of this match... Is gonna be me... Getting Leech Seed stalled... By a Mega Venusaur. And it not... In any way shape or form expect him to be such a cunt so he switches out there and goes into the mana thing basically trying to set up on me so i pull the switch there just to get rid of the leech seed and i go out into my garchomp and basically i have a chance here i can wear down that that venusaur i can do things and stuff to it i think i can bust through venusaur with garchomp but I need to take down Manaphy first. So he withdraws Manaphy. And I go for my natural gift. Trying to get some damage off. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have let him take me down to Leechy range. So that I could try and sweep. But no, I'm silly. And I go for the natural gift. Which does absolutely fucking nothing. It's grass to a Mega Venusaur. And the funny thing is, judging by this damage, two earthquakes kills it. 
So if I'd have been a man and gone for an earthquake on the switching, I would have had a chance. But no, I'm stupid and I didn't. So I go for another earthquake, just trying to wear this thing down. And no, it's not going to happen. He's going for a leech seed. And I'm just going to stop commentating right here. Because I don't need to deal with the rest of this shit. But yeah, basically, as you can see, we lost 4-0 to a Mega Venusaur that had Leech Seed. We got stalled to high fuck. And yeah, basically, we in trouble now, boys. Because I gotta face whatever fucking punishment Bayonet wants to throw at me. Fuck's sake. Don't you fuck's sake me. Do you know what your punishment is? Thing is with you, Swagnet. You have all the potential to be one of the greatest battlers Pokemon has ever seen. But you're a fucking idiot. What the fuck are you saying? You're inexperienced. And you just go for style points. So I'm going to send you out on your own to get some more experience. What the fuck do you mean? So you can fuck yourself. What? What the fuck is your problem? I don't even know what you're fucking talking about. Go and get more experience. How do I get more experience unless I go out and battle? What are you saying? Are you going to stop me playing these matches? No! I'm not going to stop you playing these matches. But what I am going to do is I'm going to enter you into a little thing called the Lithio League. And what that means is that you're going to have to go out, build your own teams, prepare your own matches. And if you don't do it, I will call the fucking police and you'll get sent back to prison for meth dealing. Do you want that? Huh? No, I don't. Good. I didn't think you did. So basically, Swagnet, you're going to be entered into the Lithio region. Okay. The Lithio League. Get yourself four badges. Come back here. And then you'll end up being one of the best. You reckon me. I promise you. You'll, the experience you'll get from this is going to be absolutely incredible. We can be a proper team again. Mate, if I'm being entered into something and I need to get badges, I ain't going to settle for just four. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to smash every single one of them gym leaders. And then I'm going to work my way and I'm going to come back here. And then we're going to tackle the rest of the PPL. Yeah, if you're sending me off to some shitty league, then I'm going to have to come back here. And I'm going to have to try and invade the PPL with you. Is that a deal? Yes. Okay. Just get good. Genuinely, just go out there and enjoy it. Right? 
Okay. But for the rest of you guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've been able to sit through Swagnet's insufferable commentary. And I will see you in the next episode of wherever I decide to record. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a great life. And I will see you later. Take care of yourselves.